Hi Aquarius, welcome to your July 2019 reading. I am Lorianne, your intuitive guidance counselor, psychic medium, to give you all the messages I get for the month of July. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. It is not gonna apply to every one of you. So take from the reading what is applicable to your life. And to get accurate, detailed information for you, I recommend that you book a personal reading because this is, again, a general reading. So we're gonna take a look at the energies of the sun, moon, and rising sign of Aquarius. And I am a fellow Aquarian, so let's take a look. This is on every level. This is gonna be romance, uh, career, finance, family, friends, everything that comes through, I'm gonna to relate to you. So we're starting off the month with the Nine of Pentacles. I love, love, love this card. You guys know that. Because this means that you are going in the right direction. Whatever it is that you're doing, it, it pertains to healing, removing, finding and removing those blockages. You're doing the work. If you need assistance, I'm doing that um, blockage workshop for you guys. So you may be interested in that. Some of you may have started your own business and I do see some of you, you really have started your own business. It looks like an online business where you may not even be communicating with people. It's an online business that looks like maybe retail, maybe you're reselling some items. For another group of you, you're a consultant. It looks like you're an independent contractor going from company to company as a 1099 of a private contractor. Whatever it is that you are doing, the universe is saying keep doing it. You're doing really well. Another group, this is real estate. The next card that came out is the strength card. This is about having the courage and the strength to continue to move forward. Some of you may be a little bit uh, fatigue, a little bit tired. It takes a lot of work to get this type of an energy independently strong. And that's what they're saying. This is what you are meant to do. Okay. Now, again, we could feel a lack. We could feel like we don't have enough strength to go on. For some of you in this group, this it has everything to do with a repetitive cycle that's been going on in your life for decades, uh, two to three decades where you're aware that this has been going on. Maybe picking the same type of employer, the same type of romantic partner in the universe is saying your nine of cups is on the way. Your nine of cups is on the way. We've got two nines here combined with the strength card and tarot. That's actually really good energy for you guys, for us, myself included, right? Whatever you're doing is leading you to your joy and happiness. And the universe says, keep doing it. Keep on doing it. Now, for some of you, if you're indulging a little bit too much in alcohol, they're saying, no, no, it's time to cut back or eliminate it completely. Because what I'm seeing is it's hurting you. It's hurting your stomach. You're getting a bloated stomach from it. Your tummy is, is pooching out. Man or woman doesn't matter. It's actually pooching out. So let's take a look at the additional information that they want. Yes, for some of you, this has everything to do with a career. Most definitely, you're on track. For another group of you, this has to do with a romantic relationship where you're feeling like you're ready to get back out there. You may have withdrawn from dating overall in general. This is for those of you who are single, single, single. The universe is saying, yes, it's time to move forward. It's time to get that courage to step out and say, look at me, I'm here. Because whatever took place in the past is done. So this is the death card. This can indicate that it's ended or completely transformed. And I'm seeing this is within you. You've done the work. You've been transformative in the way that you've handled your healing process. For some of you, you still have that blockage is not healed yet. It's still open. It's like an open wound and you keep getting triggered by people. So pay attention to that because that is your transformation. It hasn't completely rolled over yet. 
Universe is saying, use your intuition. You know, Aquarians, we are amazing at how well we use our intuition. So the universe is saying, keep going forward, but pay attention. Maybe you need to meditate. And some of you are most definitely getting information in your dream state. And keep going forward, okay? Because it's going to lead you to victory. Absolute victory. This is you being out there in the spotlight, ready to go forward. Now, when it comes to family... Some of you have a situation with a family member. This could be a child to you or a parent. It's going to be one way or the other. This is a parent-child type of a situation for this group where there was um, um, a disconnect. You may have not even been in communication with each other. There was something very uh, overly dramatic that took place and it doesn't mean it wasn't warranted it just means that it was something very explosive and it's time to come together to heal it you might be a little bit worried and anxious nervous about this person about this family member but the universe is saying it's going to be okay apologies are going to go back and forth so they're going to apologize to you if that is what is needed or you will extend the apology to them but don't be nervous about it. They're saying that this was meant to be. The time apart was needed so that the two of you or the group of you, it could be a family unit in all. It was needed for you to reflect on and see where you're coming from. See where they're coming from. Yeah, communication most definitely back and forth communication and it's going to become very very good okay so we have the knight of wands so when it comes to this family member they may have been a bit uh a bit of a vagabond <laughs> i know that sounds weird but i'm hearing the word vagabond maybe they were going from family member to family member sleeping on the couch and just rotating not putting anything into permanency but that is about to change. It is about to change. For another group of you, this is about an opportunity that is coming your way. Now, this opportunity is actually at a distance within an hour commute, one hour commute, where you may need to go back and forth. But this new opportunity, this new job offer, it's going to be really uh, uh, well worth your Time and effort is what they're saying. Time and effort. So what I'm talking about is you may accept this offer. You're not happy where you're at. Maybe it's mundane. That's what I get the feeling. It's like, I'm so bored. It's, <laughs> You know how we are. We have to be mentally stimulated. And I see that you are not feeling that with your job. It looks like you've been there for uh, four to five years. Four dash five, four to five years, not months. And you are absolutely bored to death. So the universe is saying this new opportunity is really going to be good for you because it's going to open up and expand your mind, your mental thought process. It's going to actually stimulate you into, in, on an intellectual level. And as a fellow Aquarian, we, we all love that, that, that mental stimulation. Now, for another group of you, you most definitely have somebody from the past returning. It could be the family member that I was speaking of. For another group, this is about romance, okay? And this is an actual soulmate where they finally, you or they, may recognize that this could be a really beautiful uh, relationship. Now we have the Queen of Swords. This is you and me. We're standing high in our own glory. This is us at our best saying, hey, I know who I am. I know what direction I want to go. Come closer. Speak the truth to me, especially those of you dealing with that family member or the romantic partner coming back. Whoever it is coming back from the past, reach your arm out. I will listen to you. Okay. We can communicate, but it better be the truth. Because if it's not the truth, then we're going to sever ties. That's what I'm seeing for you guys. 
For another group of you, you and your partner might be on the verge of a, um, you're worried, you're, you're, you're very nervous, you're, you're wondering if the two of you are going to make it. This is a relationship. You have an opportunity to transform it. You literally can can take what it was. It's very stagnant. There's no growth. There's no uh, reciprocity. The two of you are like not on the same page. You may not even be communicating a whole lot under the same roof. But the universe is saying, don't worry. This is going to turn out in your favor. The communication needs to be extended back and forth, back and forth. Now for another group of you, you may have two new people coming into your life where you literally have to choose. What, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is still a little <clears throat> raspy from the retreat. One of these offers is gonna be a very grounded offer. It's gonna be a lovely energy where they're gonna wanna get to know you, the real you, who this is inside, not on the outside. This person is going to want to go very, very slow. They're going to want to court you, literally court you. They're going to want to call you up and say, schedule a date and actually go on that date. It isn't going to be somebody that you meet online. This is somebody you may meet them through your work environment or something affiliated through your work. A company picnic and you're out in this big arena, in this big park, a festive event and they walk up to you. I see them walking up to you. But again, to know your specific uh, situation, you want to have a personal reading. And that will really clarify it. Now, the other energy coming through that you may meet this month is very uh, sexy. <laughs> very sexy. And they might find you very attractive. But this is not necessarily going to start off as a long-term relationship. It may start off as a very slow-moving energy, but yet very passionate. I know that sounds almost conflicting. What we have is we have the Knight of Swords, I mean the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. So this person is, and this is one person combined with the two energies. This can be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. It looks like they're really a well-rounded individual. They're very slow and moving, but they're very passionate about you. They like you. They like your style. I most definitely have a beautiful opportunity coming and this is going to be for many of you where you will get to go and date and meet people so we're looking at about three or four different energies coming in for some of you most of you it'll be the two where you're gonna pick you're literally gonna pick again it is not online so if this is somebody you've met in online dating they are not part of this you're gonna have to make a decision you're going to need to make a decision that actually makes you satisfied, emotionally happy. You feel connected. You feel mentally, intellectually on the same page. So the two of swords is you need to make a decision, but you need to do a little more research. Again, that's that slow moving. I want to get to know you. I want to see who is really inside? That is what's going to help you make this decision. So date them both. It doesn't mean you have to sleep with them both. There is nothing wrong with dating more than one person. That is wise. Sleeping with somebody is very different than dating. People seem to get that mixed up. If I say two people dating, they're like, oh my God, that's wrong. You shouldn't be sleep. No, I don't sleep with people I date. Okay, and that's when I want to move into a partnership. So this group, that's the way you see it as well. The others where you jump right into bed, this may not be your reading. Okay, so let me pull a romance angel card and an advice card for you guys. I'm going to start with the advice card because it looks like you've got some major decisions to make. 
Now you have an option in partnership, you have an op uh, a business partnership, and you have definitely an option if you're single, you have an option in romantic relationships. For those of you who subscribe to my channel, I thank you so, so much. You know I love doing this for you. If you are new to my channel, you like me, you like my style, I connect with the other side. That's why there may be some stagnancy. I am a psychic medium. And if you like me, you can subscribe. That's what keeps the channel up and going. If you click the bell, that will notify you when I make a, a posting in the community section as well as upload a video. Uh, a lot of my sales, I don't even advertise online, but I am getting ready. I'm getting ready to do a 4th of July special. So click the bell and you'll know as soon as I'm notified because those specials usually only last a few days. You actually got two cards. We did, because I'm part of you. We have gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Showing gratitude each and every single day. Gratitude that I have these glasses. Gratitude that I am here doing this reading for you, helping you, okay? And helping you, it helps me, right? Etc. So, and the next is service. I feel good when I can help others. What a beautiful combination. Now, for those of you, when we're talking about you starting your own business, you moving forward in a consulting avenue, perhaps giving the gratitude by extending a little bit of your free time helping other people. We don't ask for anything back. We do not promote it. We don't throw it out there. Look what I did. Look what I did. We aren't putting it on Facebook going, look at me, I'm helping these people. This is something you're going to do in secrecy and it's going to just be for you to lift your vibration up and that is going to bring you absolutely positive results and when you do that show gratitude each and every day thank god for the bed you have for the pillow you sleep on for you know like my captain love bug right my little puppy both puppies so let's pull you a romance angel card and see what they want you to know for the month I will be changing out my readings and it'll start mid-month. I'm gonna be doing it a little bit different. I think it'll be a little bit more appropriate for each and every one of you, definitely for me. So, playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Be playful. No matter who you meet this month, whether it's on a business level, whether it's dating, in a romance, even in your family situation, turn it around where you have the higher elevated uh, level of joy and happiness around you. And that is what you're going to bring back to you. And you're going to find that this may actually turn out to be your reading. So I hope you guys have a wonderful month and much love.